Lit in Colour is a fantastic programme that's arted by Penguin and now Pearson are part of it. Today was our Lit in Colour conference. We invited schools to come and have a great day, see poets doing their poetry. Uh, Tanika Gupta was here, the author of The Empress. So it was commissioned by the Royal Shakespeare Company and I remember when I was writing I got really obsessed with Queen Victoria. Absolutely phenomenal. We have started teaching the Empress this year. Our students finally feel seen uh, and for me that was the biggest part of today is them seeing themselves in the people on that stage. They say literature is the reflection of life but when students cannot see themselves in the text that they consume, reading can taste a lot like the shards of a broken mirror. It was nice to interact with the people and see the different things and it got us really engaged. I would just be like, it's good to see you this morning. And then you're gonna give them a high five and then you're just gonna go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> you could just feel it in the room. Everyone was like, wow, this is amazing. And the fact there was also the interaction with the students, you know, the, um, the rest of the speakers, they got the students involved. Yeah, it was just a fantastic day. If you think the quote coming up is from Shakespeare, it'd be read. There were a few people here. I know it's a little bit early, but please, if you think it's Shakespeare, it's red. I really enjoyed the poetry because they were very different and some of the poetry you could actually relate to. The opportunity came as time tick-tocked on, getting closer to their victims, but they didn't clock on. In the beginning, the predators thought they were winning. In reality, believe there's more than one villain. It starts, they're roughing and scuffing, they're tired, huffing and puffing. The one left on his back was the one who said he wanted nothing to do with it, but before he knew it, on the floor. Them boys from the other manor, yeah, they were out the door. I think my favourite thing about today was how the poets, um, they expressed things so clearly, and yet you could tell that they were, you know, normal people like us. A roar ripples through the shop as Tunde mistakenly chisels higher into Devon's hairline, leaving enough man in disarray. All of them busting up on the floor. And I think it opened up that to me that, you know, poetry isn't this kind of far off thing. It's something very close to people like me. It's just fantastic that they got to have that experience today with all the other poets that were here and everything. It's been brilliant.